Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make Wendy's. So hopefully you all like this tutorial. If you do, hit that like and now let's go ahead and get this started. Alright everybody, now before we start the tutorial, I want to do a little spin around and show you what it looks like. That way you know what to expect at the end of the video, the end results. Now if you look up top, here is a picture that I kind of went by and this turned out looking like a modern type Wendy's. So coming around this side here, this is what it looks like. It's not that big of a building, it's pretty simple and I think it turned out looking pretty good. Let me know what you think down below. Also in this video, I am going to include this truck, which is going to be down below in the description. I did a tutorial on that truck a long time ago. And also, right down here, we have ourselves a hand truck, something to unload this truck with. It'll be down below as well. Now, coming around this way here, we have the back of the building with the menu board right over there. We got the drive through lane coming around this side and we got the drive through windows right here. So hopefully you all like this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and get started. Well, Alright, now let's start off with the foundation. What we're going to do is come to the front of the building right here. And this is what we're going to do first. So we're going to have an entrance right here at the front left corner. So what we're going to do is I'm going to count with the gold blocks to make it a little bit easier for you guys. Alright, what you need to do is grab some red concrete and you're going to have three of them right here like that. And then right here you're going to have one, two, three, four, five of your anisite. This is going to be your entrance, your doorway right here. So five anisite there. And it's going to be in the ground like you see it just like this. And then you're going to have three more red concrete like that. Alright, now to the right of that you're going to have a window here. And it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. With your anisite in the ground once again. And then you're going to have a white concrete right here like that. Next you're gonna have the anisite in the ground, another window, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now right here on the corner we're gonna take some bricks and do a two by two with your bricks and then turn this way on this side of the building here. Got another window right here with anisite. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like that. Anisite down in the ground like that. All right, now grab your red concrete back out. And you're going to have right off of this here, it's going to come outwards by two blocks like that and this is going to be two blocks wide and it's going to be coming outwards by two like I said so it's going to be one two three four five six seven so you're going to make a two by seven with your red concrete and very important that you come out by two blocks from your anisite you need to stick out like that Alright, now grab your white concrete and it's going to be right here level even with this anisite right here. And it's going to be one, two, three, four with your white concrete. And then you're going to have another entrance right here. And this is going to be only three blocks right here with this entrance and a site in the ground like that. Next you're gonna have a white concrete right there just one and then 
two bricks right there off that white concrete all right now turn to the right like this and then you're gonna have two more brick right there now going down that way I'm gonna count this block include it it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So you can have 20 right there. And then what we're going to do now is go on the back of the building. Back here. And this is where the mini board is going to be in the back door right there. So we're going to come off of here. Go that way. And... We're going to add to this block right here, this brick. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 right there. And then we're going to have a doorway here. So go down by a block with your anisite down. And that's where later on we're going to put the iron door right there. All right, now coming off of here from the iron door it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 right here on the back to finish the back off All right now right here the drive through side we're going to have two drive through windows right there coming off of the corner here I'm going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 with your brick Now you're going to need your white concrete and you're going to come out a block like this here. And this is going to be six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, now go back in with your brick right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So eleven blocks with your brick right there. Alright, now your second drive through window right here is going to be the same as the first one. You're going to come out a block with the white concrete and it's going to be six blocks with that. And then you're going to go back in with your brick right here. And it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with your brick. And then you're going to take your white concrete and just place one right there and it should end up being right here in the middle of this red concrete that we started off with alright so since we have the foundation of the building to make it easier for later on we're going to also go over the outside of it with the flower bed and everything else alright Right here we have the cobblestone half slab. That's what I'm going to be using. And we're going to come off of this red concrete by two blocks. And it's going to go along that way. So it'll be two blocks here for the flower bed from the building here. So two blocks, and I have the coarse dirt in there. Now this half slab is going to go all the way down until you get to right here. So let's go ahead and count that here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, and 19. Alright. Now it's going to come inwards like this. By a block. And it's going to be two right there. Of your half slab. It's going to come back out like this here. And this half slab is going to go all the way down. And it's going to go right up to the white concrete right there and you should have one block right here left 
and you should end up with two blocks right here two blocks from here also very simple now with this over here this half slab is going to go right here with this first brick right off this white concrete and you're going to have one block right here again your core stirred in here and this here is going to be even with that one there right here it's going to be even with that again this is two blocks from there and this is going to go on down like this and this is going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. All right, now it's going to come in a block, and it's going to be 2, 1, and 2. So it's going to look like that. All right, now off of this 2 right here, coming off the building, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 five blocks of your flower bed right there and then you're gonna come out a block right here and it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight and nine now you're gonna take this one here this one is gonna go straight up and you're gonna end up having one block here of the brick right here at the back door now I have a sidewalk here that's three blocks wide your half slab is going to be right here and it's going to be just like this side it's going to come straight down it's going to be even with this one now this here is going to go that way and it's going to be one two three four five six seven with your half slab there and it's going to be the same as that corner over there so you're going to come in by two one and two like that so it's going to look like this all right, now you're going to have two blocks here before you get to the brick. That's how it should be. And this half slab is going to go all the way down, up against the brick, and up against this white concrete right here. Again, this is a drive through here. So this will be a little curb up against the building, and this is going to go all the way down to here also. Now right here, it's going to go up against the building. Once again, it's going to go around. And it's going to end up right here where we started at. Just like that. Now we'll come back later on with the sidewalk. Pretty much, I used the anisite coming down like this. And going around the building. Alright, now once we have that, which is very important to make it look like it needs to. Let's come right back here in the back and we're going to grab the red concrete and we're going to place three of them right here. So coming off this corner right here it's going to be one, two blocks, it's going to be a block from here, two blocks from here. Just making sure you guys got it positioned. So place three there like that. Well, Alright, now let's go ahead and come to the front right here where we started at. And we're going to add eight more blocks to what we have here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do the same for this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. Alright, now this white concrete that we have right here, we're going to add four. One, two, three, four. Alright, now what we're going to do is come on the inside, be right there, and just go ahead and connect this up so it should be like this. This here is going to come straight across 
and it's going to end up connecting up with that just like that now grab your black concrete and it's going to go right here alright now grab your bricks and you're going to add six one two three four five six just like that now go ahead and grab your sandstone stairs and you're gonna have two layers of these and they're gonna be upside down right here and this is gonna go on now like this and like this here you gotta also take them down to here also So this is what you should have now. Alright, now let's come to the side of the building right here. And we're going to take this red concrete. We're going to add 13 more blocks. So this is going to be a total of 14 blocks. We're going to add 13 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So go ahead and take this entire red area on up, even with that, all of it. Alright, now once you've got all your red up, then grab your white concrete and add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and bring this up. right here bring it up connect this across grab your quartz stairs upside down right here just like that alright now once you have this here that all brought up like that come to right over here we're gonna do this wall you're gonna add a layer on top of this brick that you already have and it's going to go all the way down to here then grab your sandstone and you're going to do a layer on top of the brick like this and then you're going to do two layers of your brick on top of that Hopefully you all enjoyed this tutorial. It was a pretty big request. And if you did, hit that like and let me know what you think down below. Alright, now on top of that brick, I'm going to place two more sandstone right on top of that. It should be a total of six blocks and it should be right here even with this white concrete. This is going to go all the way down here as well. Alright, now once you have your wall there, let's grab the sandstone stairs and let's go ahead and connect this up like what we've done here. So all we're going to do is come right here like this, upside down sandstone stairs and they're just going to come across like this. Just like that. Alright, now let's come to the back of the building. This is going to be very simple. You're going to take the same pattern as what we got with the sandstone and the brick. Same pattern here. It's going to go all the way down the building. Now when you get back here, you're going to place an upside down sandstone stair here. Grab your iron door. Go on the inside and place the iron door there for the back door. Now grab your stone slab and place your stone slab right there. And now go ahead and continue the same pattern all the way down to the end of the building. 
Well, right now once you have the back of the building just like that all the way down now let's go ahead and just continue the same pattern here on down very simple build I, th I think it turned out looking pretty good so this is going to come down like this alright now right here with the white concrete we're going to add 8 to what we got so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 now back here we're just gonna add two more blocks to make this three blocks wide and you you can only come down three blocks here because the roof is gonna cover up the rest you'll see later on so just go ahead and clear this on down again this don't have to go all the way down here but the top needs to be visible It'll look like that. And right here, the bottom, it's going to be two blocks here. It's going to come up like this. It'll be two blocks here and two blocks on this side. Like this. Right here is going to be a window, a little drive through window. We're going to place the black concrete right here. This window is a 2x2. Two two. And then on top of here, just go ahead and fill in with the white concrete. And then grab your iron trap doors. And these iron trap doors are going to go right here. Four of them. A two by four like that on top of that grab your gray carpet right on top of there and the same thing is what we just done with this we're gonna copy to this one here so again this is gonna come up even with that one it's gonna be three blocks on top come out by three blocks just like what we've done the window is going to be the same the iron trap door and everything is going to be the same on that one so let's go ahead and copy that and then we're just going to simply take the same pattern on down with the brick and the sandstone the two brick and then the two sandstone so just go ahead and carry that on down and copy that there right there Alright, now once you have this here, then what we're going to do is finish this little wall up right here. So, go ahead and grab the brick, double it up, the same pattern, the sandstone on down. We're going to do something a little bit different here with the top of it. So, once you have this, then grab your sandstone stairs. And we're going to curve all this around right here like this. So upside down, upside down like that. And this here is going to come across. Connect up right there. And this one as well. Just like that. Now if you notice, you can see through here. So come back here. And just add another one right there. Alright, now go ahead and grab your black concrete, your quartz slab, and your snow layers. Now come to the front here where we started. And right here, add your black concrete. It's going to be even with the red like that. It's going to hang off the building by one block. This is going to come all the way down. And you're going to pretty much do an outline on top around the entire building and it's going to hang off by one all the way around 
So it's going to come to right here and you're going to have one block of the red like that. So this is going to come over here again. One block there of the red hanging off this by one. This is going to come across to right here and it's going to curve around like that. Like I said, this is going to pretty much outline the entire building around the top. Now once you've done that all the way around, then you're going to have to double it up on the inside up here. You have to double it up like this, but we'll come back to that. Now right here, it's going to be even with this white. Right over here, I'm gonna continue across like that, and then right here, coming around just like that. Very simple. Now, what you're gonna need to do, like I was telling you, you're gonna double this up, double it up there, here, every place that you place this at. You're just going to double this up. And you're going to go all the way around. Now when you get to right here, you're just going to do this. So it's going to be two blocks wide all the way around. Now on top of this black concrete, you're going to add your snow layers. And it's only going to be one layer of snow. Now up under the black concrete, you're going to add your quartz slabs. Alright, now once you've got this all around, two blocks wide, just like this, then, like I was saying, on top of all of your black concrete that we just placed, you're going to place this snow, and it's only going to be one layer. So go ahead and place that on top of all of the black concrete and up under you're going to place the quartz slab like this. So go ahead and do that all the way around. Alright now once you've got that all the way around now come to the front entrance where we started at and right here we're going to place temporary blocks. like this. Right on top of this we're going to place three black beds. Get rid of your temporary blocks. Now you should have this. Now grab your black stained glass panes and also your white stained glass panes and your iron bars. Your black glass is going to go right here like that and then you're going to have your white like that alright now this is going to be open doors as you see and grab your iron bars and place iron bars in there in the middle for the handles alright now once you've got that on that entrance then right here in the white we are going to use the white stained glass panes so go ahead and fill this area up this is the only window that has the white glass so go ahead and put the glass in there like that and the rest of it is going to be the black stained glass. So fill that in your black glass right here as well. This is going to be black. Now we'll come back to this entrance. But let's fly over here real fast to these drive through windows. Place two black and then two white to simulate that it opens up as you see it just kind of breaks it up a little bit so do the same on this one 
All right now once you got all your windows in let's come to this entrance right here so what we're gonna do is grab you the black stained glass panes place three of them there the black concrete right up under that and then we're gonna do the same thing with the temporary blocks and then we're gonna place the beds right on top of that get rid of these now this is what you should have now your black glass here black glass here your white there your iron bar your white there and your iron bar well, alright now let's do the W right here with the quartz block the quartz slab and the quartz stair so come down one from here and the same as here so this is what you should have you should have three blocks in between place a quartz slab right there like that and place another one on the bottom of that like that alright now grab your stairs the stairs are going to go one here and one here just like that now do upside down stair here upside down stair right here as well once you've got that place a full block here and a full block here and there's your W that's what you should have now that same W is gonna go right over here in between these windows alright just in case if you're having trouble with this W here it's very simple it's gonna be three blocks from here and three blocks from here like that and then you're gonna have two blocks of brick at the bottom and two blocks of sandstone on top All right, now come to the back of the building here off the corner and we're gonna make a ladder right here so count some blocks one two three four the fifth one place your ladder right there now the ladder is going to be one block off the ground like that it's gonna come up right here go ahead and take out this place your ladder right here also take out this here grab your iron bars your iron bars are gonna come in here like this to be kinda like a a cage around this ladder and it's gonna be raised up on top of here like this here that way it'll be more realistic where people are climbing down the ladder to be a safety precaution now this is gonna come on down to here like that go ahead and bring this down like this just like that and you should end up having two blocks here that your iron bars are not at the ladder and you're gonna have two blocks here that your iron bars aren't doubled up so this is what you should have now All right now let's go ahead and do the mini board right back here add four right here with the red concrete one two three four and then grab your painting and your painting is going to go right here on that block so surround it with temporary blocks and then you can place your painting in here to the one that you want like that so once you have your painting in there then get your item frames this is where your food is going to go inside of so place your food in there that you want and then right here we're going to place the cobblestone wall the jukebox and carpet on top now once you've got that get your cobblestone wall two of them up here grab your iron trap doors like that 
and then your black concrete just like that now right up here is gonna come up like this and this is gonna be a total of four so that's one two three four so this is what you should have now all right we're almost done with this building so what we're gonna do now is grab these stone slabs and fill in the roof so come in right here and these slabs are gonna come just like this so go ahead and do this entire roof just like this and fill all this in alright now once you have your roof filled in with your half slabs then you should do something like this right here with some AC units now all this is completely random just do something up here to have it you know a little bit more to look at more realistic as you see here very simple now also keep in mind that if you don't double this up back here where the drive through windows are that's what you're gonna see so you just go ahead and bring that on down right there to cover that up alright now once you've got all that then now let's go ahead and come back here just in case if you guys wanted to have the docking area and the dumpster area the same as what I got mine to help you out a little bit also with the drive through lane so what we got here is five blocks in between here so one two three four five the drive through lane is five blocks wide all the way down all the way down here and down there it's five blocks wide apart all right now right here as you see I have a little walkway and this is one two three four five blocks wide here as well this right here is even with this here so you got one block from there and also one block from here right here is even from here all right now looking down at this it's the same as that there what we already got so just all you got to do is line everything up here so it's two one and two this here is eight blocks right here is eight and then go two one two again and do the same thing right here two one two and this comes around here squares up connects there like that now on this side here very simple so this here is total of one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you gotta have two blocks two blocks one and then two more sets of two like that now this here is a straight shot and it goes all the way down even with this one again very simple now right here is going to be two blocks you got two blocks in here and this is going to go on down straight shot like this now this one here the straight shot right here is going to stop even with this single one right here and then you're going to have two another two one and then two and then this here is going to go straight and connect up here this is going to be three blocks right here also over here three blocks so hopefully that helps you out a little bit well, all right now let's take a little bit of closer look on what I've went ahead and done so right back here I have the docking area no parking zone 
I got the dumpster there and I have the unloading area here now if you like this truck it'll be down below I did a tutorial on this truck a long time ago it'll be down below in the description also I done a tutorial on this hand truck something that people would use to help unload the truck As you see it's pretty cool and it's the only one on YouTube alright that'll be down below as well so as you see I got this truck and I have the boxes in here which I use dirt use your imagination what else are you gonna use so I use dirt and coarse dirt to be you know like cardboard boxes and I switched up the blocks here I used the door right and the white concrete to have it look like is worn down also I use the gray wool and I use the gray concrete for the parking lot as you see I went ahead and put bushes around here flowers and little trees shrubbery and stuff like that going around in the flower bed also I went ahead and put the yellow concrete powder you can use yellow concrete but I think the yellow concrete powder looks a little bit better so I went ahead and done that there for a little caution so when people unload the truck here there's people going through drive through you know just looks a little bit more realistic now the pavement goes around and obviously you're just gonna fill all this in here now coming to the front of the building this is how it looks I went ahead and put bushes and flowers up here as well and I went ahead and put the cobblestone wall down now these are three blocks apart and I textured the anisite with some stone blocks as well so this goes all the way around to here so hopefully you all enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please hit that like. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.